following podcast is a production of Radio Felician, the voice of Felician University of New Jersey and the home of alternative rock done right. Available via iHeartRadio. Tune in, the Radio Felician app, and at RadioFelician.com. Radio Felician University. What's up, what's up, my 90 Shades? Welcome back to part two of episode two of What It's Like Being an Entrepreneur. Yo, yo, it's your girl, Ronnie. Yo, it's your boy, Ron. We're going to get back to our questions. Um... Did you have your moments when you felt like you wanted to quit? Um, yeah. Honestly, all the time, especially with the music thing, I just feel like it's hard to make music for yourself when all you could think about is how other people is going to interpret it and how they're going to, if they're going to like it or not. So, I have, I mean, I have like a lot of songs, but I always get to the point of like, about to be able to release, but I still want to fix certain things. That probably don't even need to be fixed, but I just be like, mm, flip flopping about it. Like it's just my anxiety really just does a number. Yes, I feel like I I had my moments where I was like, man, I don't think this stuff gonna work. But it's right. like that's why I always tell people that's where that faith come in at. That's exactly where that faith come in at. You can't look. Anything you want in life takes time. People have to stop thinking, like, because you see celebs now when they're booking major deals and everything else. You think they was doing this the whole time? No. It took them time to get to where they are now. It took them time to be able to sit in a room with another celeb and talk business. Like, like, this is what I'm telling y'all, like... To actually have a business, it takes time. Like, everything takes time. You can't... You can't sit up here and jump into something and think, oh, yeah, I'm gonna make money off rip. No, you're not. At I all. really hope somebody tell y'all that. No, you're not. Like, it takes time. It's all about who you know, what you do, what type of content you're putting out, and what type of person you are. If people don't... Now, one thing about it, if people don't mess with you or like you or, you know, not going to say... Mm, how do I say this? If people don't... the people aren't fond of you... Mm-hmm. They're not going to support your business. Yeah, they're not messing with your vibe. Yeah, they're not like, going to support. This is why we call this podcast. It's nothing but a vibe. Because it's like we, people have to mess with the type of person you are. If they don't mess with the type of person you are, then it's like they're not going to support your business. You have to, that's why I always say connections, mm-hmm. communication. Networking. Networking. It's big. Like you have to talk to people. You have to expand your business you have to expand yourself you have to promote yourself you have to communicate yourself you're your own spokesperson so it's like really sit back and gain some knowledge about becoming an entrepreneur if you want to right. really sit back and listen to other people's stories just for their like just for feedback and what they experience and but also really do your homework yeah i was gonna say study up on it yeah do your homework before you get into this because if you want to i just want to let you know you went for a long ride <laughs> yeah because like we said we haven't got any nose yet but we're still in the beginning yeah we still have a lot more people to reach out to yeah, things that we, we want to do no nose. but you so, want to know, you know why i think that is let me tell you one thing about me i pray i pray over mm-hmm. me i pray over my friends one thing one thing about god god gonna make sure you don't get no nose okay um did you have support along the way um, yeah, I feel like literally all my friends, like, and my, like, my aunt, love my aunt, but, like, all my friends, like, when it comes to, like, with the songs or the podcast or whatever, like, ideas I've had about, like, starting things, they always been on board. they always been supporting me, giving me, like, critiques, criticism on things I need to work on, things that could be better, things I could change, all of that. They always give me the best advice so I know how to move. What about you? I think that's true. Um, yes, I've had support along the way. I can say my dad. Um, my dad is very supportive. Um, it's like with him, he always tells me, he tells me every day, like, get up and go for what you want. Mm-hmm. Like, don't, nobody, he tells me all the time, nobody can stop you but you. Nobody can stop you but you. Yep. Nobody in the world can stop you. Like, that's why I don't understand when, like, celebs, when they get, when they get talked about on the internet and then they reply back and they start, you know, having their rebuttals because it's like, bro, like, that don't matter. You're. This is why I tell people don't live for the world. Don't live to impress the world. Right, live, live to impress your, yourself. Right, do it for yourself. That's why I always tell people, bro, like, I don't ha- I'm not in competition with nobody. It's me versus me every day. Like, it's, it's never no competition with nobody. And, you know, that's no shade. That's nothing. But it's not no competition with none of y'all. It's really me versus me. 
Like it's That's me real. versus me. Like I don't worry about nobody. I walk around all day, headphones in, chilling. Or I'm with I'm with Haran. We talking about podcast stuff. I'm with my friends. Let me tell you one thing about it. I'm not in competition with nobody. I'm in competition with me. Like one thing about it, me. I'm telling you, five years later, like. Hit me up in five years. I'm telling you, in five years, I'm gonna have a brand new like car in my driveway. I'm gonna have a big house. I'm gonna have mo- like I'm going yes, to girl. be exactly where I want to be. Why? Because I'm not living for y'all. I'm living for myself, and I'm living for God. I'm not living for you. That's so right. that's why I always tell people, stay out of other people's business. Stop gossiping. Stay out of other people's business and do what you gotta do. Because when you leave this earth, the only person God gonna question is you. So mind your business and do what you got to do because he ain't put you on this earth to be gossiping to talk about people. Okay. He put you on this earth to find your purpose. And if you ain't doing that, then I don't know what to tell you. But we're going to get back to our question. I just had to speak right. to y'all real quick. Where do you see yourself in a year or two? I told y'all where I just see myself in five years. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. A year or two? That's what, like, our junior, senior year. Yeah. Um, I just see myself, you know. Bands. Uh, right. Money. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I think I just see us like, you know, further along in the podcast and our YouTube journey, everything like that. I just see success. I see that's it. I see success. Just see success. Yeah. I see success too, but you know what I see? I see us growing. Like I see us I see us bigger than like I'm sorry, like I would say I'm putting myself at a higher standard. Mm. Like I see us really big. Like I see us traveling. I see us doing podcast tours. Like way too like I wanna like Honestly, I want to do that. A podcast tour? I want to have a podcast tour. Lit. Like, have a podcast tour and, like, stuff like that. Like, people don't understand, like, the stuff that we plan behind the scenes. Y'all see us walking around campus all day and, like, dang, they always walking around. They always doing stuff. This is the podcast stuff that we doing. Like, we got so much stuff coming for y'all. Like, people right. don't even, y'all don't even know, like, y'all don't even know the amount of stuff we have coming for y'all that is so exciting. Like, our friends hear about this and be like, yo, like. Y'all really locked in. Y'all about to lock yes, it's in. It's so many it's like new stuff that's coming. So actually, I want to tell y'all a little bit about that. Um, a I, little bit. Just a little, I'm gonna little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Don't say exactly what it is, but be, be about the buzz. Yeah, get yeah, like yeah. General. I'm gonna get into some stuff about podcasts, and I'm gonna get some stuff about personally. Uh, so what we got going on. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't know if I want to talk about this, but uh, okay. So I will be modeling, starting modeling very soon. Um, I can't let y'all know companies. I can't disclose that. Can't. But yes, I am getting into that. Um, yes, I mean with that, like that's entrepreneur too. Like with that, I gotta promote myself too. So like, you know, and I've um, I have my moments and my little insecurities. I have my insecurities where it's like. You know, my skin, my face, and everything. But I gotta love me for me. Like mm-hmm. I was made in God's image. I love me for me. Like, not everybody was made to look the same, and not everybody was made to look like everyone. Like, I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm beautiful. Like, I think I'm so beautiful. Like, it I is. get, I get that all the time. I remember, like, Monty, you're just so pretty to me, and I just be like, mm. but I gotta stop on my insecurities because it's like I'm not made in your image. I'm made in God's. But yes, modeling is on the way. Um, podcasts, mm-hmm. actually, music. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Me and Haram mm-hmm. working on music. Uh, we've been working on music for a while. Like I know a lot of people not can yeah. sing. Um, I remember, Honestly, since like last semester. Yes, we got songs on songs on songs. We might make an album. Like we got songs oh on God, songs. That's on iconic. Songs. That's what. That's iconic. Yes, I gotta call it like. <laughs> call it like. Like nothing but a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing but a vibe album. Gotta go like the nothing but a vibe tour. <laughs> It's nothing but a vibe tour. It's so hard. It's nothing but a vibe tour. Um, yes. I know my wife is annoying. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's nothing but a vibe tour. Um, yeah, music. We've been working on music since last semester. Yeah. Uh, I would give y'all a song title. <laughs> I feel like I put y'all too much into the group chat. I right, but I'm, I'm, you know, a cute yeah, little song leave, title Yeah, we're going, we're going, huh? What's, what's one of the song times we could drop? Mm. A little tea. A little tea, a little tea. Are we going to talk about Uber? We can say Uber. Oh, yeah. That's hard. Uber, I like Uber. We did make Uber. That 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 song is really hard. Yeah, the hook. Oh, that's going to eat. I kind of want to sing the hook now. Give a little teaser. You want to give a little teaser? Give a little teaser. Get into it. Nah. <laughs> Y'all too much in the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but... um. 
podcast. Right, aside from that. Go ahead, Hebron. Yes, I'm, I'm like, going to make it as general as yeah, possible. Yeah, make it as general as possible, because me, I spill the seat. We are getting, we are possibly getting a new space. Yes. To record videos in. Yeah. So we're going to use that for, like, YouTube videos mm-hmm. and stuff, but we're possibly getting a new space. Um, Amen. Pray on that. Let the blessings bless. Let the blessings bless. Real bad. Um, some other stuff that we are getting to, into. Uh, you know, we released our video saying we are starting our podcast series called that Podcast Life. Yes. And I want to talk about that. It's just like a journey. You guys are on our journey with us. It's like a YouTube series you get to watch. Um, to go into depth about it, it's like three video. It's like three days recorded in one video. Yeah. So it's like you get to see us in like. Well, the first episode is like two days. Yeah. Um, I'm just letting y'all I can let y'all in on the first episode Cause it's gonna drop um, First episode is like Two days um, You get to walk around campus with us Meet everybody Talk to everybody um, Just get to see what we go through um, Our first episode We actually went on a trip Yes We actually went on a trip But we're not gonna tell you guys where You guys have to tune in and watch Go follow us on YouTube At the 90 Shades of Vibe podcast And you already know This is nothing but a vibe okay. But we aren't done with questions I just wanted to say that <laughs> <laughs> But yes um, That podcast life It will be dropping yes, soon Tune, tune in, in, in And subscribe This is the 90 Shades of Vibe podcast With Mani and the H-U-R-O And Havron Yo Radio Felician University The next question Do you want to work with Some big name people In the industry If so who Yes I'm, I'm gonna split it up into two. Yeah. Because I have like some like people I want to work with, like podcast specifically, and sometimes like, you know, music wise. Yes. But I think podcast wise, um, B Simone. Oh, yeah, yes. I, I want to work with B Simone too. Um, no, for sure. I love the No For Sure podcast. Oh I live God. for it. Um, SNG, the SNG podcast. Yeah. Is, I can't see the Sugar Honey Ice Tea and Gigs. Sugar Honey Ice Tea. Them, them two boys, women. <laughs> Great. Love them. They're hilarious. Love that podcast. Maybe even Funny Marco. I love watching yes. his stuff. Oh my He's gosh. Hilarious. I love watching Funny Marco. But um, G Herbo. Y'all wow. No yeah, that's a little crazy. No man. comment. But I love G Herbo. Um, I would like to work with Funny Marco too. That's one of my yeah. right? like because he's he funny. So, like, like he just so cool. Funny. Like he just chilling. But I would love to work with Funny Marco. Artist wise, mm. y'all know who I'm in love with. Brent Fires. If I don't listen, one thing about it, I'm gonna work with me. I'm gonna work. Listen, I'm gonna work with Brent one day. Okay, gonna manifest. Even if I get Brent on a podcast, let me tell you, God got me. God heard what I said. Okay. And now all it takes is for me to pray on it. That part. But Brent, um, Miguel, mm. Brent, Miguel, Well, uh, Jeremiah. I could go on and on Girl, and on. Right. Let me tell you, I be knowing. I could go on and on and on. But the main person I would really want to work with, like, real down bad. And I know, like, a lot of people listen to her. Y'all know that's on the driver's license. Olivia Rodrigo. You know, I was going to say that. I was just paying for it. Yeah, Olivia <laughs> Rodrigo. Like, she she got, bro, she dropped, she literally dropped driver's license and went crazy. Like from there, she been going stupid. Like, bops on bops. bops on I haven't heard bops. a flop yet. I haven't heard a flop yet. And baby's got baby got a Grammy. Okay, down. you got multiple until from all the states. Until you have a Grammy at her, mind you, she got a Grammy at her age, and that that she got. Yo, she has so her resume is lit. She was on Disney Channel. Right, and she just ages before. us. She's like she's a Pisces. Love her. Like we're Pisces. 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 <laughs> Yes, but see what I'm saying? Like, God aligns. It's a line. Like, right. you start off with one thing, you do your homework on some other stuff, start off. You see how see how she was on Preserve Arc? She was on Preserve Arc. Mm-hmm. She was on Disney Channel. Then did music. Look what happened. Girl, look at her. Baby, baby. Grammy. Literally swimming in millions. Girl. That's what I'm saying. Like, if y'all, see, people be, you got to be real motivated to do what you do. Mm-hmm. You can't let nothing get to you. You got to be motivated. Like, can't nothing bother you. Everything just got to literally... Any criticism, any comment, any negative, anything negative just got to roll off of you. And like, it, it can't anything, touch you. Use that to make more content. Yes. Use that to boost yourself back up. Yes. Use it to further yourself and longer yes. your career. Because I'm going to keep it a B. When I first said something about me wanting to do hair, you know, people had their little stuff to say. But it was like with me, it was like y'all fail to realize like a lot of people don't even have the courage to get up and do stuff like this. Right. 
a lot of people rather just lay down and work a nine to five. Ain't nothing wrong with a nine to five. Having a guaranteed check is lit. Right. But it's like, if you want to go out here and you want to live that life that you really want for yourself, get up and do what you got to do. And I'm like, with me, like, I'm a college kid. Like, I'm a college student. Like, I'll be out of here in two more years. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, if I'm, one thing about me, yeah, psychology, all right, psychology got me. But at the end of the day, like, I want to have stuff to back me up. I want right. to be known for something. Like, I want my name to leave an impact when I'm gone. I want people to think of Giamani and Haran on the 90 Shades of Vibe podcast. Yes, leave a mark. Leave a mark after after we're gone. Like, I mean, after we are even not even living anymore. Like, you know, like, everybody, everybody going to go one day. We know this. But, you know, I just want our names to live, like, through Felician and everything. Because mm -hmm. I feel like get involved, always get involved with your school. But everybody always has something. To, somebody has, people have something to say about me starting here. And I was just like, you know, I didn't even respond, like, and a lot of my, a lot of people around me was surprised that I didn't respond. Cause one thing about me, I read. <laughs> I will read like you book. down. I read like I don't, I don't even play. But me, me getting into that faith and me talking to God, I can't do the type of stuff I did before now. Like the criticism and everything, I just gotta let that stuff roll off of me. That's why right. now, like anything somebody say to me, I let it roll off of me, and I just be like, it's whatever. Because n let me tell you, nothing you could say to me will ever stop me from doing what I gotta do for me. That part. So I don't really care about what nobody talking about. <laughs> I don't. So I feel like, listen, do what you got to do for you. None of this other stuff matters. Right. Nobody else matters, but you do what you got to do and get to where you want to be for you. And that's just period. Real that's bad. That's real stuff. Like... Um, what advice do you have for someone who wants to become an entrepreneur? Mm, I would say just don't give up. Consistency is key. I'm dying. Consistency is key. I think, like I said, motivation is like, motivation and support is what you really need. It's the combo. It's the the bread and butter of everything. Like, you need to be supported and you need to be motivated. Definitely. I think that's like the most important things you can really do to just thrive at what you're mm -hmm. good at. Thrive at what you're normal to. Um, what I would say for someone who wants to become an entrepreneur, become independent, don't let constructive criticism destroy you. Mm. Don't let social media destroy you. Don't let what you see other people doing, like, entitle you or make you feel like you have to, like, you know how, you know how a lot of people say now that, like, people live, people, so people give you what they want to give you on social media, but they really don't live that life. Right. It's like... You see these celebs and you see these people with money like they're living and they're thriving, but you don't know what their life is like behind closed doors. That part. You don't know nothing. We just, oh, they have so much money and they're doing this, but do you know, like, they're literally, like, it's bad for celebs. Like, they literally get no sleep like that. Mm -hmm. They're up at probably 5, 4, 3 o'clock in the morning on a plane. They're mm, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning in the boardroom, probably in pajamas, in a bonnet. Like, I'm telling you, like, y'all don't understand, like, nothing in life comes easy. But do not let constructive criticism tear you down. Don't let what other people say about what you got going on destroy you and not let you continue with what you got going on. Because even with us, like, we... We didn't we didn't have any like bad criticism like we said earlier. But it's like even when we do get that, are we not gonna let that tear us down? What right. is what it like? Listen, this content is not just for you, it's for us, it's for everybody. So right. it doesn't matter whether you like it. I mean, whether you like it or not, hey, I can't control that. I can't control nobody's feelings. Right. But we're just here to tell you our experiences. We're just here to let y'all know on the tea and just give y'all advice about what's going on at a young age. Like a lot of people don't have the courage to do that. But I also really do would say really don't let constructive criticisms destroy you. And please do not let social media get to you because these social media games will get y'all hurt. Right. Social media is a roller coaster. Yes. And this is why I'm on the verge of really deleting social media and just living. I'm not even going to hold y'all. Social media becomes a lot. Yes. Yeah, social media is a lot. Um, Leave a quote. Yes. Oh, my God. I was going to say that. Quote of the day or the week. And talk about talk about your quote, and I'm going to talk about mine. My quote says, you are searching for someone to take you out of your body. And I think, mm. honestly, to me, that just means that I'm looking for someone to distract me. I'm looking for something to... Haran, 
What? <laughs> no, okay, let me explain a little bit. <laughs> like, I'm looking for Come someone on. to distract me from all the, the noise that's going on in my life. You know, all the bad. I'm looking for someone to distract me, to take me out of my body, just to, like, distract me right. from all the, the, the crazy stuff I got going on or right. things that I feel bad about things that I'm think overthinking about. <laughs> I don't think I need something to like You know I got somebody distracted me every day. You know, Amen. come on. Amen. Uh, distracted I'm, I'm me. One of those too. Distracted me. Real soon. Not distracted me, but he distracts me in a good way. Um Sam. my quote is <laughs> I can't put y'all on that tea. <laughs> Not right now. Right though. <laughs> but um my quote of the day is People do not decide their future. They decide their habits, and their habits decide their future. Mm. FM Alexandra. And that is basically saying that what you do decides your future. Like, basically, your habits. Like, getting up every day and being consistent decides mm-hmm. your future. Getting up every day and being disciplined decides your future. Not letting constructive criticism break you down decides your future. Okay. Not letting social media wash your mind decides your future. You just have to be one with yourself. You really just got to be one with yourself and one with, like, what you got going on and just be one with everything that you got aligned. Mm -hmm. That's really just it. That's all. But, I mean, that's just how I feel. I just feel like your habits are what gets you to where you want to be, and that is very much true. So anybody that's listening to this right now, any, like, you know, unlearn those untoxic habits, them toxic habits. Unlearn those unhealthy habits and, right. you know, start to eat good, start to work out, start to make sure your skin is good. Like, I mean, because I'm still doing that now. I be trying to, like, make sure my skin good, make sure everything good, make sure I'm consistent with everything. And right. like, not, like, with my, like, body, because, baby, I smell good. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm just saying, like, with skin. <laughs> I'm talking about with skin and, like, just being consistent with, like, working out, eating good and stuff. But Right, because you got to be your own motivation. You do. You, you have, have to be, be your own, own person calling your own name to get up and do what you gotta do you definitely do but um I just wanted to say you already know today's what Halloween today is Halloween it's spooky day <laughs> it's spooky day y'all happy Halloween happy spooky day spooky season is over after today yeah I'm going right into Christmas mode yeah I'm going right into Christmas love mode love Thanksgiving they love Thanksgiving don't get we'll me see wrong. them on that day we'll see but but it's Christmas, Christmas time. time yeah it's time to start the Christmas movie though, um, let me get let me start writing this little Christmas list for y'all cause mm, everybody right. yeah, around, you will be getting one too you're not slick Amen. <laughs> um, you gotta give me yours, but you're not slick because you're getting one. Period, period. <laughs> it's gonna be a little light, 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 light. I yeah. don't do too much, you know. I don't do. Girl, Christmas you know Christmas who I'm thing. doing too much with, but I ain't gonna do too much shit. Girl, that part. <laughs> that part. But um, you guys already know what it is. It's a Ninety Shades Vibe podcast, and it's nothing, nothing but, but a vibe. vibe. Remember two ways to listen. Check out all Radio Felician podcasts via Spotify. Just search Radio Felician University or just go to RadioFelician.com. Follow Felician Radio on Instagram at Radio underscore Felician. And follow us on our social medias, TikTok, Instagram, at the 90 Shades of Our Podcast. And follow our main socials at, you know, our break Ron. At Money the Scientist. And just remember, it's nothing, nothing but, but a vibe. vibe. This podcast has been a production of Radio Felician, the voice of the Franciscan University of New Jersey. The views expressed are solely those of the hosts and guests and are not official statements of Felician University. Visit Radio Felician on the web anytime at RadioFelician.com. Want to send an email? Reach out at radiostation at Felician.edu. Radio Felician, the Falcon.